Hello and welcome, I am Matt Taylor and this is my variety channel. Today I'm gonna to do another Mac preview tutorial and I'm going to show you how to use the sketch tool, more specifically how to like outline things and then just save that sketch instead of saving the whole thing together. Like maybe you wanna sketch over um, like a map and then you just want your drawing to be there and not the background map or anything like that. And then you can copy that drawing and put it somewhere else if you want. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. Um, typically I would do something like that in Photoshop where there's different layers and you could just highlight the layer and turn layers off and just save it that way. So this is, it's a little more complicated to do it in preview, but it is doable and fairly easy. So here we go, let's get started. And so what I do, like here is a map I brought up on Google Maps. And let's say I just wanted to do kind of an outline here on Phoenix, um, maybe the highways or something. I'm going to do a screenshot of this. So on the map, just command shift four is what I normally do. And let's say I do this, something like this. All right. I can close out that, and then my file showed up on my other monitor, but here it is. So that's the screenshot. I'm gonna just right click, open with preview, and here it is. So here's your screenshot, and this could be any photo. It doesn't have to be a screenshot. You can open up a photo and um, sketch over the photo, and then just save the sketch. I'm gonna come up here, it used to be, this is a, the markup tool, it used to be a briefcase, but click on that, boom, here we go. And here's the different little tools. If you don't know much about preview, I went through a basic how to edit screenshots in preview video. Check out that video and you'll get some more information. It's not a full in-depth tutorial, but it's a good one. And then let's say you wanna draw and Maybe follow the lines of this map for some reason. Come over here, this is the sketch tool, and click on that. Let's click a color, red is fine. And you can switch to one of these different widths if you want it to be wide or not as wide. And then just start drawing. I'm not the best drawer, I don't really follow lines very well um, and I'm just using the mouse if you had like a pen tool or something like the pen drawing you can use that and then if it goes straight on you just come over here and click on this to keep it um, your wobbly and then let's you can maneuver that a little bit but then once you take your the left button on your mouse then it ends your line and you have to start a new one and so that's kind of annoying a little bit, but that's, there's no really way around it that I know of. And so I'm just gonna start doing some drawings here. And plus I wanna show you what happens when you have several of them. So now I have this separate one and I can move that if I want. And I have this separate one and I can move too if I want. But then I'm gonna just keep drawing here a little bit. Let's go down the 101. Straight over on the 202. And you can take more time in this if you want. And so that went to a rectangle. It thought it wanted me to do a rectangle. It was automatically going to make it a rectangle for me. And then I'm going to just switch back over to this. Just go back up to there like we did with the other line and it'll keep my marks. And then I'm gonna just maybe start up here a little bit. And you can zoom in to get more precise. If you wanna get more precise on this, you can totally zoom in as well. See how that did some weird things? <laughs> That's not what I drew, but it, it was trying to guess what I wanted to do. So again, just click this, boom. Um, let's uh, get in a little further so we can get a little more detail. So 
So it's just not, it's not the best program for doing this kind of stuff, but it is doable just because like this mouse features, once you lift it up, it like ends your, it ends your stroke. But if this is the only program that you have to do this kind of stuff, like if you don't have Photoshop, which is kind of expensive, then this might be um, what you need to do and what you might want to use. And so you notice how I can't really start my line that close to this because it thinks that I want to grab this other one. So you can zoom in really close, but then it just makes it harder to trace very much because the minute you let go of the mouse, it ends the line. Like I can't, to get to see most of this, I can't just, I have to let go of the mouse and drag this over and continue on. But that's fine, you get the idea. Okay, so here is my drawing. And let's say I want to just keep this drawing but get rid of all the background. Like I don't want the image, that was just the guide for me. It's very simple. What you'll do, what you'll do is you'll switch over to this tool, which is the Insta, Instant Alpha tool. So click on that, and then you're just gonna click anywhere on the background image, and just hold it down and drag it until it covers everything in red. And don't worry, it's not going. To, it's only going to cover the background. Even though the whole image was covered in red, it's not going to take care of our outlines. And just hit delete, and you are left with the outline. And then if you hit save, you'll look over here, and it's a PNG file. So now I can take this and overlay it on any other image that I want, like drop it into like a PowerPoint presentation or something like that. Or what we could do, so I'm just going to X out of this. Let's say I have just a blank screenshot or a blank document. So I have this document and I want to put that drawing into it. And it could be an image, it could be a picture, it doesn't have to be another screenshot, whatever you want. So you're going to come over here and you're going to open up your drawing that you just did. Make sure that the image is highlighted and do command C to copy it. Come on to your new document, command B, and then you can position it and drag these corners to however you want. And there you go. And that's your new document with just your drawing with a white background, blue background, another picture, whatever you want to do. Um, for example, I'll just X out of that. I could take a screenshot of this right here. Here it is. Open it up. And then let's say I wanted to put that map on there. I would open the map up, Command C, come back over to this picture, Command B, and now I have this map that's on there. And then you can just take this image, File, Save, and then it saved our image, okay? So that's a quick little tutorial on how to make a sketch over a screenshot, specifically like a map, what you might want to outline, and then you can copy and paste it somewhere else. Now, let's say we have this photo. Let me go back and I'll take another screenshot of Half Dome here. So let's say I have this screenshot of Half Dome, and I want to, you know, maybe I want to do an outline of Half Dome just because it looks, you know, for some reason. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just so I can see it. I'm gonna click this tool. I'm gonna to change the color maybe to white. 
and then I'll click the little sketch tool. And then I'll draw half dome. And you might want to do something like this. Like if you're going to make a logo or something, something like this might be what you might want to do. Who knows? There's a lot of, a lot of things that you can use with this. So you have something like that. There's half dome. And then you just file save. You can save it on that image or you can come back over here to the, this tool, which is the alpha tool, instant alpha, and just highlight the whole background, delete. And it's hard for you to see, but you have this little white sketch. So that's another way. And then you can just save it that way if you want and put it somewhere else. Hopefully you enjoyed that Mac preview tutorial, specifically with the sketch tool and a little bit with the instant alpha tool. Make sure to check out my other Mac preview tutorial here on my channel. I'm Matt Taylor. This is my variety channel. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Until next time, take care.